Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be taking an unboxing and close-up look at Hot Shots and Aces, the reinforcement pack that's going to add some new pilots to a lot of your favorite ship. So this is going to have Rebels, Imperials, Scum, Resistance, and First Order new cards and some upgrades. Oh, we'll take a look at that. It's going to have 16 ship cards, 31 upgrade cards, 14 quick build cards, 16 ship tokens, and 32 other tokens. Uh, very, very cool to be taking a look at this. Also want to thank my sponsor, Luxury Playstyle. They've got all kinds of amazing tokens for X-Wing. Uh, I love these, especially the, the focus tokens that have either a calculate or an evade on the other side. There's a calculate, there's an evade. They're just they're super, super cool. If you use code VIP, you're going to save 15%. So be sure to check out Luxury Playstyle. they got stuff for a lot of other games as well. All right, so we're going to open this up and take a look at some of these i'm not sure how much of this has been spoiled already i think i think all of it has been spoiled i'm not 100 percent sure so uh despite all of that i'm gonna go through every card in here anyway so we got two card packs we've got uh looks like upgrades upgrades and then some pilots over here uh we're gonna have a hot shots and aces rules insert so that's real nice that's real nice oh we got some great artwork in here by the way this is this happens to be the amazing artwork of darren tan who is one of the greatest star wars artists on the planet so darren if you're watching you are the man for drawing these kind of b-wings this way like that's freaking awesome darren tan is, is is definitely one of my favorite artists all right oh we got k2so on the front there that's cool and we've got a lot of cardboard here so um yeah we'll take a look at all of this let's zoom in a little bit closer so first thing we're going to do is look at some of the upgrades that are coming in here we're going to get composure we're going to get two copies of composure we're going to get two copies of snapshot we're going to get two copies of hate we're going to get two copies of predictive shot i think two copies is probably the standard for most of this stuff we're going to get two copies of brilliant evasion we're going to get two copies of foresight we're going to get two copies of precognitive reflexes so all of you maybe rebel players that didn't want to have to buy clone wars era ships to get new some of these new cards now there's options right uh two copies of advanced optics we're going to get two copies of pattern analyzer we're going to get two copies of primed thrusters there we go we're going to have two copies of passive sensors Two copies of Auto Blasters. Two copies of Plasma Torpedoes. Two copies of the Mag Pulse Warheads. Two copies of the Baraji Roquetos. Or Barrage Rockets. I don't know. I think that's Hatties. The Hatties uh, way to pronounce it. Um, a single copy of the Diamond Boron Missiles. A single copy of Triple Zero. A single copy of Maul, that's right, Maul, my friends, yes. A single copy of K2SO, all right. A uh, single copy of BT1. Uh, two copies of Agile Gunner. There we go. Uh, we're getting there, we're almost done. We got two copies of Coaxium Hyperfuel. Um, and then we got, oh, the Moldy Crow title for uh, all of you single faction players that were upset that you had to buy across the aisle to get Moldy Crow that will no longer, well, you probably already did it, but uh, we got two copies of Angled Deflectors. Uh, and we've got two copies, three copies, wow, strange that there's three targeting computers, okay. Three copies of Targeting Computer. And two copies of the new stabilized s foil for the b-wing here's a close-up look i don't know if there's been a whole lot of real close-up looks at this yet this is the closed sign and, and there's the open sign all right awesome this one's gonna be fun this one's gonna be very very fun and i think this is the only place to get the stabilized s foils for the b-wing right now and you're getting two copies in each pack so that is good. Let me set these aside. And then we're gonna look at some pilots. So, speaking of B-wings, let's start off with the B-wing. We've got Gina Moonsong here. Uh, she's Initiative Five B-wing. 
At the start of engagement phase, you must transfer one of your stress tokens to another friendly ship at range zero to two. So yeah, I think I want to get a better angle on these. Let's 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 do that. There we go. I like that angle a little bit better. So Gina Moonsong. All right. So she's again. Uh, B wings have such a so many easy ways to get stress, but uh, I think that's definitely a common theme amongst the B wing pilots is shedding that stress and taking advantage of that stress. We've got K2SO, after you, you gain a stress token, gain a calculate token. Of course, he's got calculate there as well. So that's nice. I like calculate, I really do. Uh, how, how it's, just how it's been implemented. You're so like much more likely to get extra versions of it, uh, you know, and you can use it for multiple things. Maybe you need one for attack, one for defense, one to trigger abilities, or etc. So we've got Leia Organa at initiative five. She does have a force on the Falcon as well. And after a friendly ship executes a red maneuver, if it's at range 0 to 3, you may spend a force. If you do, the ship gains a focus token or recovers a force token. Uh, I love Leia here. And again, this really cool option if you want to put extra force uh, crew on there, like Leia and Kanan or Leia and Luke or something like that. You know, you can get some extra force that way and use this for more, more than one ship. It's kind of like a, a take on her crew ability a little bit. But it has other uses as well. It's kind of fun. We've got... Uh, not Agent Callus, but Alexander Callus. And uh, while you defend, if the attacker modified any dice, you may roll one additional defense die, which is interesting. Although he's he's not uh, not getting a whole lot of defense dice anyway, but that's kind of a cool way to give him a little bit of survivability. We've got the fifth brother. While you perform an attack, after the neutralize results step, if the attack hit, you may spend two force to add a crit. Results okay, very nice there with the two force. I think we talked about having homing missiles kind of stapled to him. Um, cool art, too, by the way. Vagabond, speaking of cool art, awesome art here. Um, uh, for a, a tie striker, initiative two. After you exec fully execute a maneuver using your adaptive ailerons, if you are not stressed, you may drop a device. So, obviously, you're gonna have bombs and stuff stapled to him. Morna Key, initiative four. She's going to have three charge. Perfect opportunity to get yourself some of these charge tokens from Luxury Playstyle. Code Grabbox VIP. There you go. All right. Uh, you, during the end phase, you may spend one charge to flip one of your reinforced tokens to your other full arc instead of removing it. So that's pretty cool. So then, like, on the following turn, you could potentially have both sides reinforced if you wanted. Um, that would be interesting. Weird thing is, you would think if you had both the front and the rear reinforced, like, would you... And somebody's like in the middle, they're still gonna not get it. They have to be fully in one arc. So, um, yeah, I, I think the idea there is you don't bother trying to reinforce both sides. I think the, the plan here is you you reinforce the front as you're flying through somebody, then switch it to the rear as you fly past them, and then and then do then follow up with like a focus or or target lock or or maybe even rotating your turret if you need to. Um, Bosk. Now this Bosk is also supposed to come in the Hound's Tooth expansion, but he is here as well in the Z95. Um, this is a kind of a different uh, a different look at the kind of whole uh, Z95 kind of dropping out of the Hound's Tooth, but he has Pursuit Craft. After you deploy, you may acquire a lock on the ship the friendly Hound's Tooth has locked. Uh, and then also while you perform a primary attack, after the neutralized results step, you can spend a crit to add to hit results so using that same Bosk ability. We've got uh, Gargorvium, Gargoyle, I don't know, Gargamel. Gar I'm going to call him Gargamel. Uh, he's at zero initiative M3A, which is super cool. After you defend, each other ship at range zero suffers a critical damage. Each other. So that could be your own ships as well. Uh, he's also a droid fighter, so he doesn't have focus. He only has calculate. We've got Nom Lum, uh, a, a, a jump master pilot who now has a nice, cool little ability. At initiative one, after you become the defender, if the attacker is not in your... Uh, turret arc, you must rotate your turret arc to a standard arc the attacker is in. This could be a blessing and a curse, but I think most of the time it's going to be a blessing. We've got ZZ Tolo. Uh, the ZZ Tolo does come with a charge, so and it's a recurring charge. Uh, so And this is RZ2 A-Wing for your resistance pilots out there. After you defend or perform an attack, you may spend a charge to gain a focus or evade token. This is just such a good, good A-Wing, because you can do this 
every turn. So of course you're going to want to do that. And you can really choose. I like the idea that you can really choose what you're going to do. And in initiative five, you're not always going to be shooting first. So, you you know, there's definitely some options. Uh, I, I do like it. Maybe you go for the focus for defense against the initiative sixes and then spend that charge and then get another focus to fire right back at them. Um, or if you're getting attacked multiple times, maybe you want to get an evade. Um, so just really cool stuff. We've got Ronith Blario, another RZ2 A-Wing. So a lot of A-Wing love for the resistance. Uh, while you defend or perform an attack, if the enemy ship is in another friendly ship's turret arc, you may spend one focus token from that friendly ship to change one of your uh, eyeball results to an evade or a hit result. So again, um, you know, a lot of green token uh, shenanigans here, but it's just like them flying together. Good wingman right here. Um, Although uh, not necessarily the best if he's the last one standing, you know you want you don't want him to be the last pilot left alive. Then you're not going to be able to use his ability. Uh, Paige Tico, Initiative Five Hero. This is honestly like the scene with Paige was one of my favorite scenes from the Last Jedi. Uh, like her whole like dying but still hitting the button and like kind of watching the explosion as she died. Like it was just so so sentimental. It was a beautiful beautiful scene. Uh, after you drop a device, you may spend a charge to drop an additional device. She's going to have a charge that's recurring. So every turn, she can potentially drop two devices, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have Lieutenant Lucius, the unflinching executioner in the TIE SF. Uh, is initiative five. While you perform an attack, you may spend another friendly ship's lock on the defender to re-roll any number of your results. We've got Captain Phasma. Uh, while you defend, she's initiative four. Uh, while you defend after the neutralized results step, another friendly ship at range zero to one must suffer a hit or crit damage to cancel one matching result. Ugh, she's just uh, that's very thematic for her. Um, and then rush in the tie silencer uh, is initiative two. But while you're damaged, treat your initiative as six. So this can be kind of he can become an ace when the adrenaline hits. Uh, we've got some quick build cards too. I'm going to throw them out here kind of quickly. I'm not going to talk about them too much because there's a whole lot. So there's some of the Rebel ones. We've got our B-Wing and our U-Wing. If you want those, you can just take screenshots if you want. I'm not going to talk about them too much. I don't want to keep you here all day long. Uh, we've got the uh, the big ships there for the Rebels. Okay, we got both of them. We've got some Imperial ships right here. we got the TIE Advance and the Striker. Um, okay. And then we've got uh, Decimator, and then some Scum, kind of copying them over there, all right. And then we've got M3A and a Jumpmaster, right there. All right. And then RZ2 A-Wings. I would love to see Quick Build only as like becoming a real, like a more played, more widely played format. It would be easier if, at least on the back of the quick build cards, they told you what all the upgrades did. So, um, just because, like, the whole idea of a quick build is so I don't have to dig out all the cards, right? So, but at the same time, um, then you're going to have to dig out all the cards and read them. So, like, I would love to just be like, here's my quick build card. Boom, here's what I'm flying. Here's all his abilities. But if you don't remember all of them, it can become difficult, you know, because I certainly don't have everything memorized. All right, and that's all of the quick builds. We've got some cardboard, too. All right, so in our cardboard, we've got, it uh, looks like, all of the pilot uh, bits and some extra focus evade, all, you know, some extra tokens. Uh, there's the back side of our pilot bits, and it looks like they're the same pilot on either side. Yeah, and that's, that's fair. Leia's just going to be the same on one side as she is on the other, I'm guessing. Yep, and that makes sense. Extra reinforces, callus, more in a key. On this one, mm -hmm. and Nam Lum and Paige Tico. All right, and an extra deplete, a couple extra deplete tokens as well, which is kind of useful since that's a new token and they, people aren't going to have that many of them. All right, guys, that is the whole pack. Um, a lot of pilots and a lot of upgrades and those S-foils for the B-Wings. So that's really cool. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Make sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I want to thank Luxury Playstyle for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out. And uh, you don't forget to use code VIP. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.